So what do you do when you are at a park that only has 30 amp service and your rig is 50 amp? Uh, what options do you have? Or maybe you're just boondocking and all you have is a generator. So we're going to look into a product today that may help us out with that particular situation. We're going to do a little test. Hey everyone, welcome to Tigner Adventures. My name's David, and today we are going to be checking out a new product. Now, I like to do this with products that we as RVers can use and, you know, and we a value that we can bring to you. So some kind of a discount and things like that we can get for you so that you can save money also. That's the whole key here. We do have an affiliate code. We have the information in our description below um, about what you know how this all works and what kind of a savings you can get but the product we have here this company has sent this to me you guys have heard of it I'm sure it's called soft start the difference is that over the years soft start has been um, mainly you know a piece that you know equipment that we would install in the AC unit up on top of your rig usually they've wired those in directly into the AC units on the roof which requires you to have an RV guy you know service guy come and do all this work if you don't do it yourself you know and I'm here at a friend's rig here he's got a big fifth wheel two AC units and his service to his rig is 50 amps so just to tell you how 50 amps works, it's really 50 amps on this leg and 50 amps here. So overall, I have 100 amps. Well, when I take a dongle and I plug into 30 amp, because this park that we're in, uh, State Park, only has 30 amp service, I've combined all that, I've lost my 100 amps, and I'm down to 30 amps. So it's hot out, and we want to run the AC units to cool the, the rig down. Well, I've only got 30 amps. Well, this... The soft start, the idea is that when those compressors start on the um, air conditioners, they draw a lot of current at once. And so then it ends up, if you're trying to run uh, two AC units, it will for sure trip the uh, breaker on the, the panel. So let's just look at it really quick. This is um, it's called the soft start up. You know, so if you look at it, it is just really sleekly built um, they've done a really nice job in building this but the whole idea of this particular dongle basically is that you just plug this into the power pole and plug your unit into this so now you're not climbing up on the roof trying to um, you know wire everything up it's just all going through this right at the power pole so you don't have that expense of having to install it and so that works out pretty good it has all the instructions right here on the front of it um, it comes with the, this one dongle right here that goes from um, 30 amp to 50 amp. So this will plug right into here. Okay, if you're at a 30 amp pole, and in this case, he's at a 30 amp pole and he has 50 amp service. So it comes with everything you need to actually use this product. So we're going to do two tests. And the first test is we're going to just try it without the soft start. So we'll do that test first. Then when that one's done, then we're going to set up the soft start and then do the test again and then we'll come back at a conclusion and tell you what we found all right so we have the little ac unit on already and this is the second ac unit on this is our pre-test before we plug the soft start in so we have the acs set to the low temperature so here's the second one going now this is running on a 30 amp circuit breaker Key change. Yeah. Oh, we have just lost power. Okay, now let's try it with the soft start. So we're over here at the pole, and yep, no power. Breaker's broke. <laughs> Resetting it. And we got power again. So pretty interesting how that works. One thing I should really point out here, you know, I said all the instructions are right here. We do have this QR code here you can scan and actually go online and read all about the details about this but they have these lights here. And so we're gonna kind of dwell on this little section of this uh, front panel here when we hook this up. So you've seen where we had the both ACs running and they blew the circuit and we had to come back out here and reset this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in line 
and do that same test again to see what happens. We only have 30 amp service, 30 and 20 amp on this pole. My friend's already got a dongle on here. And remember this came with a dongle, but in his case, he went from 30 amp to 50 and he's got a surge protector on here. And then he's got his unit plugged into the surge protector. So we still want to plug this in to the surge protector. So we're not taking the surge protector out of there. Uh, we're gonna just put this in line with the whole thing. And the nice thing on this too is it's got this little metal clip here. Um, because these are so expensive, we don't want them walking off. And so when we do put all this on here, we can lock all these up uh, to the pole or to wherever we want to our rig so that they don't walk off. So, but our step right now is to put this in line. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the power off here at the pole. So we'll turn that off. And then we're gonna unplug it out of the surge protector and put this in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is turn the breaker back on again. And we're going to go ahead and look at the display on this. So you can see the lights blinking around. So if, uh, if all the lights are on, then we have to check the power source. But we're good there. We have one blinking light. So if we go down through this little display right here, we can see that we have one blinking light, which is 120 volts, 30 amp power. So we are good to go at this point. So now we'll go back inside and do our test inside again with both AC units. Turning both AC units on. We're setting for as low as they'll go. So this is with the uh, soft start in line right now. So we're using the soft start. This is compared to not using it. So, so far we got both AC units running just fine. Okay, we have finished all of that. Isn't that pretty cool how that just, I mean, we have ran that air conditioner all afternoon for about three to four hours, both air AC units running, using the soft start, never tripped the breaker once. So it wasn't, it didn't take long for the breaker to flip without it, just because as soon as both those compressors tried to start at the same time, we blew the circuit on the, on the unit there. So I think that's pretty interesting how this all works. Uh, basically what the soft startup is doing is it's taking and storing up a bunch of power so that when those units pull at the same time, it kind of you know, helps disperse that out and give the units what they need so they can start up, but it doesn't put the stress onto the power pole. So that is definitely a win-win. So, um, it's nice to be able to have something like this available to us as RVers. And so I really applaud this company. Um, Doug was saying, you know, I mean, they've just, they're continually working to make it better and come up with better ideas on this and everything. So I think that's, you know, gotta be something said for the company. Um, I've sent several emails back and forth to them. They're pretty quick to uh, respond um, with questions and things. So again, a great company for support. And as RVers, we, we need that. And so uh, this is something they seen was a need for us as RVers, and they've come up with this and it makes it a lot better. You know, what we would try to do is try to cool a whole unit on one AC unit. Well, when you have a big rig, especially, you know, a fifth wheel that's pretty big size, you really need to both ACs to be able to cool the whole unit. And so um, these different RV parks we're staying in, uh, state parks, it's interesting they only have 30 amp service, but that's not an issue anymore because we can use this and still be able to use both ACs. So this is pretty good. I want to thank Soft Start for sending me this that, to uh, test out. Remember, check our description below to, for um, a link there. You can go in and check out Soft Start for yourself. You know, let us know what you think of the Soft Startup. Uh, it's a whole new idea, and I think just simplifying it down where it just plugs in and, and unplugs, you know, and you just take it with you the whole time. No extra work involved makes it a simple thing. So anyway, that's pretty cool. I really like the, the product and it's pretty cool and it's a good company to work with. So uh, thanks for watching this video today. Hopefully this is of value to you and uh, you know, just having, the, having them there to answer questions for you and help you out um, is a benefit, I think, as an RVer. So, so anyway, so you guys all take care and we'll catch you down the road somewhere. And if not, then we'll just catch you on our next video. So talk to you later.